I remember when I was growing up, my dad would be hanging out with all his friends. And they'd all be talking about boxing. They would have boxing on the TV. They'd be watching the Rellas brothers. They'd be watching Julio Cesar Chavez. They would go out to the Olympic Auditorium and watch fights there. Growing up, that's all I heard from my old man was boxing. There's never been any boxers in my family. I'm the only one. Mainly soccer players, my uncles, my father, they were all amateur soccer players. I never really warmed up to soccer. I liked boxing a lot more when they would watch TV and I'd see guys like Julio Cesar Chavez on the television with his bloody mask getting jabbed in the face by De La Hoya. I just thought, wow, man, that guy, he's got like guts absorb punches like that just keep coming forward there was something intriguing to me about boxing about going toe to toe i didn't box early on in life i got in trouble at school fighting all the time but i was never put in any amateur boxing as a child nothing like that they sent me away to uh, mexico when i was young my dad did because he lost his job he couldn't afford to have me around so he sent me to live with my grandmother, and the only education I got in Mexico in the Mexican schools was fighting other Mexican kids. I got expelled from every Mexican school I attended for fighting, for kicking their asses. They wanted to start shit with me every day because I spoke English, and they called me Pocho, they called me Americano. So. Got a lot of experience fighting Mexicans since I was a kid. That's my amateur record. My dad was friends with one of Quarry's sons. And they would invite my dad over to the Quarry house. Because he worked with Jerry's son. And one time my dad told me he went over to the Quarry house. He was drinking some beers. And Jerry walks up to him and says, punch me. My dad didn't want to punch him. He said, no, I don't want to punch him. He said, come on, punch me. So my dad puts his beer can down, and he doesn't hit him with everything he's got, but he he gave the old man what he wanted, and he didn't even budge. Grabbed up. Punching Jerry Quarry in the, in the stomach. An old Jerry Quarry that was still chiseled like stone, he said. One thing I never forgot about my dad's stories about the quarries was a saying they had that he told me he liked. A saying the quarries had, quarries never quit. That's what they told him. And he inverted it and said, well, Aldaz never quit. And I feel the same way. Aldaz never quit.